Hi, everybody. How are you? Hello? Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. So I was on another Zoom meeting uh, with the Lions Cup. That's why I haven't even have a chance to change. Okay. So I'm going to make uh, Brian as a co-host. I'm going to also make Samantha as a co-host. Okay. Okay. I'm going to start the classes. What class we are in, Brian? What class we are in today? Well, you should be number eight. Thank you. Do you guys know what's Lions Cup? Um, it sounds familiar, but um, not really. It's a non-for-profit organization uh, to help in a lot of people. I am actively participated. And it's very good. So today is number A, huh? number A. Brian, A R. Uh, yeah, it should be number eight. Okay, good. I am opening up number eight. Also, uh, I'm, I haven't shared my screen yet. I will share my screen after I pull it up. Okay, let me share my screen to you. You cannot do your recording. Okay. 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 I need to pull the fire out so I can. I don't want to share the client's information. That's why I need to make sure everything's fine before I share my screen. Brian, I did not share my screen yet, right? Uh, yeah, you haven't yet. That's good. That's what I'm supposed to. I will in a minute once I get everything right. I'm getting it. Okay. Brian, are you going to school or are you working? Um, I, I'm doing both. Are you doing both? Are yeah. you going to school full-time, part-time, working uh, full -time? Currently, I'm working full-time and I'm going to school part-time. Okay. What do you study? Uh, cybersecurity. Oh, uh, okay. That is a very, uh, very good. That. Really? Yes. Good afternoon. Good evening. <laughs> good evening. Yes. Okay. We are I come. I just come back. Okay. Very good. Very One good. of my son's school party. Okay. That's good. Welcome. Today okay. is a birthday of Joseph. Okay. Not a problem. I am. See, going to share my screen right now. You look good. Okay. Very good. I very am... lucky. Okay. Very good. I'm very lucky. <laughs> Why? Why are you so lucky? Uh, your class has not be be begun. Has not begun. Okay. <laughs> because I, I, I was on another Zoom meeting 
with the lion's cup. So oh. as you can see, I don't even have a change to uh, <laughs> to change. Oh, okay. Oh. okay. Okay. So I see my screen. So then it's interesting that I can. Okay. Now you you guys are able to see my screen right now, right? And then it's in practice uh, return number A. So in here, as you can see, okay. the personal information is easy, just so, so. Now, they are Mary Fai Johnny, okay? So, yes, yeah, so, so, first and last name, and then so, so, first and last name, birthday, phone number, email, home address, I change it to San Francisco. The actual example in that San Francisco. I want to show you the state of California tax return. Now, no in here. I put no in here. The first no is no foreign asset to report. The second is no um, virtual currency. Okay, now the ID in here is also in California. And the rebate, now in here, they say they did not get any money for the rebate. Now, this is only good. Or 2021 and 2022 so far we don't have any any of those unless we get surprised before christmas huh that would be good so let's say if they don't have it they're gonna get it so now the first one is gay now come in here there's, there's dependent okay now let me see, in the actual example, do they have dependent? Let me see. The actual example, they do not have uh, dependent. Let me delete this dependent first. I just add this one in. Now there's a W2. Now the W-2, they don't have W-2 in here. They have been retired, as you can see in here. You see it? This is a retirement. So I add on this client, as you can see, ABC and XYZ, you can see it? I delete this. So now, the first thing they have it is the retirement income, 1099R. 1099R, they have, as you can see, I have been changing around this number to for the different illustrations. So let me change it back to this. The number what matter is in box 2A. That's the taxable amount. Now, this is number seven, normal distribution. And then that's it for this one. So if we escape it. And then the next one is SSA, now, SSA, right here, 1099 SSA, is belonging to the spouse.
and do some a a a a withholding is in box six five thousand for federal withholding. They did not do California withholding. This okay. You click in here, especially when you share screen, you have to click in that. You use the mouse to click inside that side of the screen. Otherwise, they don't know what you want to do. So now, the up to here, we're done. Oh, you know what? They both of them have. I am, but this is the last meeting I'm recording. So I was, so I need to get this one, make sure this one okay for me to say push. Let me just hit okay. And then I'll take care of that later. It's just for your information. If you don't do that save, it's gone. Okay, and you don't have it. So sometimes if you, do something recording you want to make sure you get the save last one we have to do it again so now 1099 in here the one we just did it now we click in here take down so this time is the taxpayer they happen to have the same those are where in most situations, husband and wife don't have the exactly same amount. But this example happened to be husband and wife. They are, they sit in the same amount. Now, not only that, they show they are private resident. So where is going to pay to do? Okay, now I use this tax return to do a lot of what if, as you can see. So I delete those numbers. Now, so it doesn't have any of those numbers. Those number I add on it as an example. Now, if you want to delete the whole thing, you need to click in somewhere. I guess you have to be okay for you to let delete it so now go to the second tab income we want to report sale of the primary resident the right hand side do you see sale of the resident right there okay you bought the house in 95 1985 oh long time ago isn't it They show it at December 31st, 2021. And this is 2021 tax software. The purchase house was 90,000. Ooh, I wish I, I bought the house back there. They show it and 200. They show this house at 240. Okay. Oh, I wish I this one to impact. Oh, no. The split screen sometimes when I get there, you don't see my script, your split screen right now, isn't it? Do you? Uh, I see one part and then I see half of your camera. <laughs> That's what I see too. So, I still haven't figured it out how to, you know, 
when some things pop it in and then uh, and it get me out and then I don't know how to get it back to where, where it was. You understand what I mean? <laughs> so I am going, I have to be, guess what I have to do is I have to probably have to open it again in here, this side and close this. Now it works. Now, in here, the selling expenses were legal fee was 400 bucks and this was a thousand bucks. And there's a selling expenses of 15, there's no capital in, my, in here. I make some changes when I do an other training and more advanced training. Okay. So this is five year, it's 365 times five. They own the houses and use it for, for their houses as a primary resident. So that they will qualify for up to 250 per portion. Now I check this and put the last of the month if there is any. Uh, I, I put this one in there, you, you can see it in uh, 84, uh, 89, 49. So now in here, we close. Now that's all we have. Now we don't have other things. I think I add those information. Let me delete it. So that way you get to the example of I also add on the, I pretty much put everything in, in this. I think when I do the more advanced training, as you can see, I got the window property. Let me delete those whole thing, these things. Now I delete every, everything and schedule C as well. You see, I delete this. I was using this one to do more advanced to include almost everything, like schedule A, B, C, D, E, and K ones. It's like a summary of what you guys have been learning. Now I delete this to match it an example. As you normally, you start from scratch, you don't have those. Just because I was doing some other training and I used the original to add it. So now, now we should, now there's a home office, which in this situation does not apply because there's no schedule C and there's no user of business auto as well. So how do you know I, I know how it, because when, when I see the blue things, right? The blue things, that means there is an input there. Excuse me. There is no child and this tax return. So therefore the child credit will be deleted. I was add on all this. It was like almost an all include in one tax return to covers everything that you have been learned. Now, the almost finished tax return is going to be shown to you to match example number A. Yes. I am going to get this, let's say day to day, okay. Now, in this situation, we are going to get the tax return looks like
So now the actual tax return looks like this. Let me move. Oh no, 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 no. I'm I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna get this way. Just purpose. Just like now I have no time to move around. So don't don't look at this flag because I change it. That's why they flag it out. It doesn't mean there's something mistake. Now that twelve thousand twelve dollars of retirement, which is like there. So now here's something maybe to your surprise that even they receive fifty five dollars of a fifty five thousand seven hundred eight dollars of retirement. Do you see under the box number seven is the zero there? Do you know what I mean? Brian, do you know what I mean? Uh, sorry, can you repeat that? Even though the husband and wife both receive Social Security 27 down AAA and then add together equal to this 55 down 776. But how come in here 6B is zero? Is there something wrong with the software? 6B. I am uh, it, is it? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking with you. No, it's not mistake. It's uh, the law said when you have a lower income, when you have low income, and you don't need to pay tax on all of the social security income in here. So basically, the law is including all. 55,776s. Pretty cool, huh? So, so at the end of the day, there's no tax. You see the zero tax in there? There is no tax, need to, need, need to be paid. So now, let me go back to here. Do you remember they show the house as well? They show the house right here. Do you know how much they need to pay for tax? Right here. Brian, do, do you think they need to pay the tax on it? Uh, I would think so if they're selling a home. No. Here is the answer. Now, this is primary resident. You, even though you have a gain, you're supposed to have a gain of 100. Uh, they supposed to have a gain of 133,600, but the law allow them each and every person up to a quarter million tax free. Pretty cool, isn't it? Look, look. Let me let, let, let me let, let me show you this. Let's say, okay. If you live in San Fan, it's very possible to happen like this. Now the house is not 240K, it's 1.24 mil. Even though bet there is an 80K and 90K. Let's say this is the situation. The house by itself is making. More than a million, right? More than a million. So 1.1 million. And then minus 500,000. There, yeah, you only pay tax on 633,000 if in this situation. I changed the example. Right now, I add 1 million on top of it. In San Francisco, you, you, you got a lot of old house, like 1, 1 million plus, right? In Betia, maybe like 90, 90K. So in this situation, this need to be paid tax, but the tax the tax was at the capital gain. So guess what you're gonna pay? You need to pay in about this much, hundred twelve k for federal. 
for going back for the original example, if there's only like this, no one million in front, and this person, buy tax return, no tax. No tax due. And do you remember, let me ask you this, the second question, anyone can answer me. There's no tax due, but they, yet they have 10,000 refund in here. And then there's another 2,800 refund. Why? After the show, how they all things, at the end of the day, they, they have still have 12,800 refund and no tax have been paid. Who know the answer? Why? Is it something wrong? Uh, they pay the estimate tax. No, they did not pay estimate tax. Almost there. Get, get little thing. They pay like here. What's this? In the left side. They thought they need to pay tax on this social security. That's why, especially when they sell the house, they fought. So therefore they withhold 5,000 each person from their social security before they touch the money. So therefore this 5,000 each person to 10,000 as a whole will become a credit for them when they file tax return. However, to their surprise, there are 55,776, none of them need to be paid tax, right? They probably like at the very beginning, the first year to, to receive social security. And then also they thought, wow, I sold the house. I may need to pay tax onto it. But nothing further is true. There is no tax for their situation because they are under 500,000. Now, let me tell you this. Even though this house was sold at this, now, even though now it is six, that is now, do you think they're going to need to pay tax onto it? Yes. Some. Because in this situation, there is a taxable amount of 33000 Now, here's a funny part of it. Once you have that income, do you see the original 55000 is non-taxable? And all of a sudden, there's 20000 A75 is taxable. Do you see it? Yes. What that really means is, if you have other sources of income, Uncle Sam said, you know what? You, you, you have money to support yourself. So let me tax you more. <laughs> That's what it is. Okay. They're making too much money. Yeah. So now, and then to the say is, um, you have no control about a house. Let's say if they have no, have no house to sell. If they have no house to sell, or if the house sells is still like in the situation was like the example, no tax. So now, if the taxpayer is asking you these questions, there's no tax. But let's say they have a quite bit of a retirement account and they want to distribute more money and they also want to be to the point of no tax pay so how much they need to pull it out up to so 
So here is a here is a try to do so. So in here, you change this number. It was this, right? It was this. Let's let's see if they there's thirty thousand more. Would they change it? The taxable amount will become this. Now let's see. Now once you have this, do you see you need to pay tax because all of a sudden your fifty five thousand, your fifty five thousand have seventeen thousand you pay tax. So at this situation you need to pay tax about. Almost two thousand. So now, now you go back to here. You say, let's say, if you do just thirty thousand instead of like, like, let's say, you have to play around to, to answer the questions. And in my practice, many people are going to ask the questions. Now, in this situation, they still need to pay tax, but very little because the taxable amount is 505. So it's only $52. So now, this almost gives you to close to not taxable. So now, if you just decrease it another maybe four to five thousand, you're more likely going to be get to that blood even point. And you take advantage of full deduction, but yet no tax. Now, in this situation, there are no tax, but they still have some norms, as you can see. Now, in here, so they was taking about a thousand per month. Right now, you they taking about a little more than two thousand a month. So, but yet. They still have no tax on their photo tax return. So that will answer the taxpayers' questions. Any questions for me? For, from any one of you? Anyone of you, do you have a question for me today? No question? No question? Okay. You have no question, let me ask you these questions. If somebody do a consulting work, you see a 1099 or 10,000, where they need to, where this person to report it in their tax return? They do a consulting. 1099 NEC. Yes. That's what they receive. I, my question is where they need to report this. Yeah, that's right. Under, under the second tab income. Boom. Right here. Let's say, assume the husband is doing consulting and then you, you can search for consulting shift control space and then and you can shift control space uh you can shift control s now you can you can you can search around what's the consulting code in there, and then the ten thousand is in here. That's hundred thousand. Right now, that is not the true thing. I just want you just for now, okay? A lot of times, I just put it now, but I should looking for the right one. So now, normally when you do consulting, what kind of deduction you have it? 
uh, office expenses, and then the yeah. telephone information, uh, telephone uh, expenses, yes. and then the supplies, and then yeah. the uh, maybe some mileage. <laughs> okay. And maybe the used computer to do uh, consulting work. So the depreciation of their of their uh, computer. That's yeah. good. Okay, I I'm not gonna do add all this in here. That's good. Now, if they own a rental property, let's say if this if this person own a duplex and live in one houses, live in one part and rent the other part, where are they going to put, to report their rental income? Which tab? General income adjustment. Income schedule E. Schedule E, where? I know it's schedule, schedule C. E. In, 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 in comes. Income in the right side or left side? Uh, left, uh, uh, left, uh, left side. Left side. Yes. The bottom or left side, like here. You, yes. Get you. Okay. No, they turn together. Let's say, for example, like E1, da, 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 and then in here. And then you put in their address. And then 50% off. Whatever, a uh, street, let's say one main street, like for example. Let's say I put it in San Fran. Now, if they have been put it in, they are actively manager and, and also qualified QBI. I put this. Now, in here, if all those these have been rented out and they get it 3600 what expenses they normally have in the rental in the rental they could be advertising if there is rent anything in here clean in here and more and if they still have a mortgage is a mortgage interest if they have not been fully depreciated, they will be have a depreciation. The depreciation will be separate, the building and the rent. The normal residential depreciation is how many years? 27, 27. Oh. and half. But what if they're commercial? The commercial depreciation is either 31, or 39, yes. So now I just try to review a little bit about here's everything, what we learned. So now here's the basic information. And then in here, sometimes under, now here's a dependent, you put in all the dependent information in here, answer those questions. If there are some, Child care expenses you put in here, you also put in this 2441. Now, there are some incomes, they are small, and we don't want to put it in the actual form. You can actually go to here. But those are small numbers under the number three income. And sometimes you may have some income into it, but you don't have a 1099 R and you just put in here. And if you have some interest, but less than the schedule B requirement, and then sometimes you can put in here. Uh, you can have a refund of stay refund, you can put it in here. Unemployment, you can put it in here. And so far, so on others. There's one thing, when you take care and elderly, 
and the elderly with the same home with you. You get a W-2 from the uh, from taking care of the older uh, from the government. So you are going to be able to exclude those income. It's like here. You can put in here. So they they're not taxable. They will be including W three and including the first original income, and then you exclude from here. So it's an offset between each other. Okay. Now in here there are other all different kind of a special income in here. Now they there's like an option if there's any that match the situation. For example, like uh, the government uh, gives some uh, grant, a taxable from last year, tax uh, uh, from the Schedule C. That's where they get it from here. One. So now, um, today we'll end uh, the class number A. And this will be ends the two weeks of training. So tomorrow, Friday, we don't have training. And Saturday afternoon, three o'clock, I use a Mandarin to talk to you from five to nine. Welcome to my, in my guest. And also I'm going to be uh, upload these classes into the YouTube to learn it and we are going to talk to you next week. Or if you want to listen to the mentoring classes and see me Saturday in the afternoon at 3 p.m. No class for tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye. Have a nice weekend. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, Have bye. a nice weekend. Goodbye. Have a nice weekend.